for those of you that are starting their work week I know I am this is day one of making it work and of course I'm always in a hurry because I I um, was transferring my last week's making it work this morning because I was too lazy yesterday so of course I'm running out of time so let's get started first of all I did a little construction on my um, backdrop it always went like this and then straight and then like this all the time you know it would bend this way and then it would bend this way so I wanted it to bend like this like it is now so I could set it behind me so it would block everything else and I got it to work I, I had to unscrew everything put new holes in but you know yay for me <laughs> it was a bitch though I'll tell you what um, I am not a carpenter person at all <laughs> anyway so um let's get started today i wore my wet and wild ultimate ultimate brow mascara in nothing but brunette and i like it i like it it was easy to go on my first impression is i think i wore this one time in a get ready with me or something but i really like it Okay, next thing was my Ulta Eye Primer. You guys know I love this stuff. I'm starting to wonder if it's ever going to end, though. <laughs> okay, um, this is going to be the first day and the last day that I use this. This is going into my junk pile uh, because it did nothing but clump on my lashes this morning. I hate it absolutely hate it that is one of my requirements that it does not clump and this one clumps horribly i had a great big huge clump um come off that i you know i tried to get them off as i was pulling the wand out and so a great big huge clump got up underneath my my lashes so every time i blinked i had a huge mess down here and it got in my eye my eye burns not going to use this again Okay, for my blush this week, I am using the Me, Me, Me Blush Me. Um, I hardly ever reach for these. And I guess that is the name of the blush, is Blush Me. Um, because they're in a little drawer because they're too big to fit in with my other blushes. So I hardly ever touch them. So I'm, I've got to start using putting those in my rotation. But this is what it looks like. It's pink with a few sparkles in it. It's very pretty. For my highlighter this week, I'm using the Hard Candy and Tiki, I believe. Yep. I really love this one. Okay, for my eye makeup this week, I'm using the Makeup Revolution uh, Run Boy Run Palette. And I, I'm thinking that I used this once before, but it's in my rotation, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, and this is what it looks like. I love that. Whoops, there went my brush. I love this. I used today, I used this for my base. I used uh, this one for my my transition. And whoops, this one. And it's a little light. Um, the transition color is a little bit light, but it's okay. You can still see it. And then I used this gold as my um, eyelid color today. Okay. And for my lipstick today, I, I did a little haul this weekend, but I didn't film it. So I'll just tell you what I got. It was very little. I bought a color book, which I will show in my coloring book obsession. Um, and I bought, I finally found a couple of these Rimmel um, Nude Collection by Kate. And this is number, all it says is number 45. And this is what it looks like. Um, it's... It's, all, it's okay. It's a little light, but it still, it works. It's still not too light. You know, I say that about a lot of my nudes, you know, that they're, they're just kind of on the verge, and this is what that is. But I will still wear it because it's still pretty nude. It's just, I wish it was just a little bit pinker. And on my hand, it looked pinker than this, than what this is. It always looks a little different on your lips, I think. Anyway, um, I got two of those. One I will wear towards the end of the week. And then I got two packs of these, which I own a bunch of these, but I lose them like crazy. So um, 
And these are kind of sparkly. They're kind of cute. I always, you know, if they have new ones of these, I always buy them because I use them every single day um, to hold my crazy thick hair back. So anyway, that is my makeup for Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. I went to Dumber Slam. Um, hopefully some of you guys saw um, the video or the pictures that I had on Facebook, and it was really a fun time. You know, it's all, it's staged. It's entertainment is what it is. It's wrestling, you know, but it was all staged. You could tell they didn't really hit each other. You could tell, you know, that when they fell, they, they were choreographed. So it was, it was a fun time. It was really fun. That's what it was meant to be, to entertain you. And it did. Because I am not a wrestling fan, but I, I had a lot of fun. So anyway, I will talk to you tomorrow. Morning, Bye -bye. everybody, and welcome back to day two of my Making It Work series. I'm going to start doing this a little different. I comment that nobody wants to watch 30-minute videos and that I should quit mentioning the stuff that I use every single day. Just you, tell you about it on the first day and then um, give you my first impressions and then on the last day let you know what I thought for the whole week. So I'm going to try that today. So today I will just be telling you about my eye makeup and my lipstick because I change those every day. And also today I did change my mascara. I um, threw the Wet n Wild away. It was a clumpy mess. I did not like it. So today I'm using the Lash Domination um, by Bare Minerals. And this is, a, it's got kind of a crazy wand on it. But actually, it does very good things for my lashes. The Makeup Revolution Run Boy Run palette this week. Today, I used, this as my base, which I will probably use most of the week. I used this as my transition, which is a lovely transition color. And then I used this for my um, lids today. Okay. And show you that uh, very pretty I love all the all the shades not too powdery they're pretty good pretty good and um, I'm wearing my Burt's Bees lipstick in 523 Sunset Cruise today I love the packaging and this is what it looks like it is a little bit corally but I kind of like this coral I kind of like this color. It's not too orange at all. So the light cor the lighter corals I kind of like. So I like this color. So anyway, that is my makeup of the day for Tuesday. I will see you tomorrow. Good Bye. morning. This is Connie and welcome back to uh, day three of my Making It Work series. I know Hello, this is Connie is kind of repetitive. I'm sorry about that. It's just a habit. And um, you'll have to get over that. <laughs> so today I am letting you know what's on my eyes. I'm using my Makeup Revolution uh, palette in Run Boy Run. And today I use this as my base. And let's see here. This as this again, the same as yesterday, as my... Um, transition. I tried to use a different brush on this today, a really fluffy brush, and it did not work. I had shadow everywhere. <laughs> um, and then I used this one here today, this kind of brownish, uh, brownish gold color on my lid. And for my lips, I used my uh, Burt's Bees in color 502 suede splash and I love 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 this you know this is more brownish it's like a brownish nude um, and I usually don't lean towards the browns but I really do like this color um, this is enough of a nude that I really like it I recommend this if you like um, brownish nudes, um, lighter brownish nudes. But I really like it. I think it looks good on my skin tone. I'm happy with it. 
Okay, so here is my eyes today. I'm having an extremely bad hair day today, but I'm getting my hair cut tonight after work. So I'm excited. Um, I also talked, my boss talked to me yesterday. I will talk to you more as I know more. Um, it's a possibility I may be moving um, to the casino. There's He owns a bar in a little town about 10, 15 miles from here. He owns the two bars that I work at here in town, and he owns a casino, which also I think serves beer. I'm not real sure. Um, never been in it. But the casino is open like 10 to 10 or something like that. I, he's, um, the bartender, or the, the person that worked the casino yesterday did not show up. So, she's done. So he talked to me last night about possibly moving over there um, still getting the same amount of hours getting a couple more dollars an hour actually because there aren't as many tips so you know I kind of figured it out it, it'd be about a hundred dollars more a week which would help me um, and that's probably close to what I get in tips anyway so I told him I was interested so if he can find somebody to work the day shift my day shift here I would move over there. It is some evenings, you know, but only until 10 o'clock and I'm okay with that. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning everybody and welcome to day four and I got my hair cut. Um, she didn't cut a whole lot off of the ends, about a half an inch maybe. Um, she's gonna just keep trimming that up a little bit as my top grows. So um, she straightened it yesterday and it looked, it looked okay, but I just am not so, so I'm not used to straight hair. So, um, I kind of like the curls actually. And my bangs are a lot shorter, but they grow so darn fast that I wanted them a little bit shorter, you know, at first. It, because they, they just grow like a weed. Uh, I can't believe the rest of my hair doesn't feel like it grows that fast. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get to this. My eye look for today. Uh, as usual, I wore this and this as my transition. Whoops, this one and this one as my, my base and my transition. Today I wore the pinky, the rose blush color um, one. So pretty. That is just so darn pretty. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's as pigmented as the rest of them though. So, this is my eye look today. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Since I have on pink, you know, it, it kind of goes. And my lipstick today is my Burt's Bees uh, 501 Blush Basin, which is the beautiful blush color. That's all I can say about it. I absolutely adore this color lipstick. I... Um, if I didn't rotate quite so much, I would wear this one a lot. A lot. So I love it. Okay, guys, that is day four. I will see you tomorrow. Buddy, Bye. This is Connie, Bye. and welcome back to day five of Making It Work. And let's get into my eye look today. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Run Boy Run palette all week. I use this and this for my, all right, this one and this one for my um, transition and base color today. Today I used this gold color here for my eyeshadow. And I have got glitter, a glitter bomb on my cheeks. <laughs> it is, wow. Um, I love Makeup Revolution, and I'm, I don't want to talk too much about it, you know, today compared to tomorrow, but um, Glitter Fallout is horrible. The, they're not as pigmented. You have to work to get a good layer of color down, but I still love Makeup Revolution, and I will continue to buy Makeup Revolution. I, I love their shadows. It is my new one. I bought two, the two new ones, the nudes from... Um, Rimmel by Kate, or Kate by Rimmel, 
and this is color 41 not crazy about this one whatsoever it looked way different when I swatched it on my hand than it does on my lips not crazy about this one whatsoever I will probably pass this one on I will get it all cleaned up and and um, put it in a swap or something because it looks way different on my lips than it did swatched on my hand I don't like it it's too much of a it's too light it looks like a 60s color <laughs> okay here's my eyeshadow very pretty it ended up being very pretty but I have got glitter all over here um, I can see it I don't know if you can see it or not how about if I move my because it is like a glitter bomb went off on my cheeks so anyway that is my look for today i will see you tomorrow in the last day of my making it work Good morning, Bye -bye. everybody this is connie and welcome back to the last day of of my week and the making it work week <laughs> um let's get started right away i've got 15 minutes to get to work <laughs> okay the first thing i used this week was my wet n wild ultimate brow mascara i absolutely love 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 this brow mascara um, I like the length of the wand um, it's a little bit longer I love that I love the spoolie it goes on like a dream it's pretty it's not too dark it's not too light it's very I love it all right can't say enough good things about that wet n wild is stepping up their game uh, Ulta Eye Primer. You guys know I love this. This week I used my Makeup Revolution uh, Run Boy Run Palette. Front is all dirty. And as usual, I used <clears throat> this and this for my transition and my um, base. And today I used this dark plum color or purple color. And holy cow, I looked like goth gone wild. I tell you what, so I topped it, uh, the inner corner, at, or the inner third, or inner half, I'm sorry, uh, with this color, this very light color that I did not use the rest of the week. So this and this is what I'm wearing today. And it still looks plenty dark, but um, it looks way better than it did. I mean, it was, it looked almost black. It was so dark on my eyes. So, okay, and um, it's powdery. The glitter falls out. What else is new? I love Makeup Revolution's palettes. They, um, they are, some are more pigmented than others. There's a couple that I really had to work with, and this is one of them, I know. I forget pretty fast, but this one, um, I really had to work to get the shadow to lay down but once it laid down it was absolutely beautiful this is one of my favorite colors in the whole palette and these here are awesome these matte shades the rest are all shimmers these are all shimmers these are all mattes and I love makeup revolution palettes and this is this is the only one I have right now and I love it okay um next would be mascara and you know i started off the week with a different mascara and i i was not happy with it at all so starting on tuesday i went with this mascara and this is lash domination by bare, bare minerals and i really like what it does to my lashes um it's got kind of a weird wand see but it it lengthens my mask or my it does not clump it lengthens I I'm happy with it I would repurchase this that tells you a lot for mascara for me okay blush I am so happy with my blush this week this is the me 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 blush me and this is what it looks like And it's one that you can see on my cheeks. A lot of my blushes that I use just 
you know, on my bare cheeks because I don't use primer, I don't use foundation while I'm working because I work in a kitchen also. So, um, this one here you can actually see on my cheeks, and I love that. This one here is going to get a lot more use. Um, my highlighter this week was the Hard Candy and Tiki, I believe. Yep, Tiki. And I love this. Oh, shit, I just broke the pal the lid. God damn it. Maybe it'll... Nope, it's broke. Darn it. Okay, the next... My last thing for today is my... I used my Burt's Bees lipsticks in 530 Lily Lake. And this is my favorite one out of all of them. I always save my favorite one for last. I don't know why. But, you know, look at that color. You know that's me. So... I'm very happy. I love the Burt's Bees lipsticks. They actually have pr really good staying power. They're pigmented. They're, um, you know, you can build them up also. But, um, you know, they're not meant to be truly opaque, I don't think. You know, really dark in your face lip colors. But they are beautiful. Love the case. These here, um, the new Kate by Rimmel uh, nudes. From her nude collection, oh my god, I can't talk today. I like one a lot better than the other. I like 45 a lot better than I did the one that I wore yesterday. Um, this one here I'm going to just clean up and I'm going to give it away. Because I, I know I won't wear it. Alright guys, that is my week. And I hope you enjoyed yourself, enjoy your weekend. And I will see you next week. Bye.